Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. In the SEC, there is one certainty. You never get a rest. You never get a chance to catch your breath. If you don't believe it, just try taking your C game or something to a place like Lexington or Nashville or Starkville. You know what'll happen? You'll walk out with a loss. You have to bring your best in every single game in the SEC. Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. See how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's tackled around the 35-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Got a man. Watch out here. He's knocked out of bounds at the 47-yard line. I'm a huge fan of the play-action pass in college football because with play-action, it really puts a lot of pressure on defense. The defense gets caught up and concerned about the running game, and it puts them out of position, and it makes the throwing lanes for the quarterback and the windows that he's trying to find much easier to find for a quarterback and the receivers to pick up big yards like we just saw there. That'll bring up second and 11. Once is his quarterback. From their own 46-yard line, second down. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Strike to his receiver, no good. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. But the wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it, let's move on to the next play. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Going long. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. He fields a punt at the 20. He's pushed out of bounds right around the 34. Arkansas staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. You know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. First and ten. Ball on their own 48. Black five, black five, X7. 
King with the play fake. He flings it. That's incomplete. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. Shot to the tight end, and he can't pull it in. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. The Gamecocks lose one of their key players with that injury earlier. Still in the locker room. We don't know the severity, but unlikely that he'll play any more football this afternoon. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. That'll make it fourth and ten. Prater to punt. When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. But boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Second and ten. From their own 22 yard line. Second down. My five, my five. Ready. Rose complete. He's hit right away. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here. And the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. It's first and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 46. That makes it second and two. You know, when you have a guy that can grab five yards or so consistently, it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game. From the 49-yard line, first down. There's a strike complete, and he is drilled at the 37. That makes it first and ten. it fly and he's tackled right away what a great play this is the timing that we talked about in the pregame that they must have in order to be successful at their passing game that time the quarterback threw it to a spot and his receiver was there to make a nice grab here's the eighth play of the series Open receiver and it's incomplete. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the two yard line. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. Tenth play of the drive. All the big boys are on the field now. Both teams have their big sets out there. Run, 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 run. And he has it on the corner. Touchdown, South Carolina! And a halfback took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. And 
he tacks on the extra point. A 10-play, 78-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. The score now, 7-0. South Carolina kick this one off. And he'll return this one from the seven. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. The Gamecocks really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Here's a running play. Tackle made around the 40-yard line. He's at midfield. He's taken down at the 47. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. South Carolina in front, 7-0. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set to start the second quarter. with a sack. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. So the sack makes this a second and long. Open field. He's tackled in the open field. Third down. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Make the stop around the 24-yard line. Nice run there as they work the outside. That'll bring up second and three. And this play is number eight on the drive. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. The 10 brought down right around the two-yard line. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. First and goal from the two, and they can smell the end zone. Looking for his man, incomplete. Here's play number 10 on the drive. The short yardage defense here. And down he goes, around the three yard line. 
Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player, because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. Here's the 11th play of the drive. They go to the ground game, and he's taken down right around the four-yard line. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. The kick is up, and he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Arkansas ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. South Carolina is up four. And he hits him hard at the 33-yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. at the 36-yard line. sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. First and ten. Ball on the 42. throw out to the receiver and he's tackled at about the 35 bass gained seven yards with a catch there the Razorbacks taking their first time out of the half he steps out around the 34 yard line So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Nice run, and he's brought down. They come out in a five-wide set. Fires out to his wideout, and he's leveled at the 18-yard line. What a play. Boy, solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. We've got a first and 10, ball on the 18-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Inside the 10, short over the middle. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. That makes it first and goal. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, check, check back 11, check back 11. And two, easy, easy. I got it, I got it. They'll bring him down at the four. That brings him to goal. Panther two. Check 99, check 99. 
know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Third and goal for the lead. defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 27-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. South Carolina up a point. That's a great tackle at the 23. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. They come up to the line here at second down and 14 after the sack. Points were very hard to come by in those first two quarters. They'll head to the locker room. 7-6, South Carolina. Great first half. Hopefully the second half is good. From the five-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, in the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. From their own 26 yard line. It's second down. He makes his way to about the 38. Gets out to about the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line, it's first down. Gets it out quickly. They'll get him for a loss. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. He might have a chance. He gets to about the 34-yard line. That's good for a of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 34. He gets to about the 24-yard line. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard gain. Brings up second and one. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, check, check back 11, check back 11. Oh, 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 oh. 
Room around the corner. Here he goes. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they'll bring it up first and goal inside the five. Defense in their short yardage package. They'll work the left. Touchdown, Razorbacks. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for, an opportunity to impose his will on the defense. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. Here they come, and they won't get the two. Arkansas is ready to kick it away. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. Arkansas is continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Easy, 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 easy. He's got it out to his tight end. Tackle made around the 31-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. Steps out of bounds at the 36. Designed to pick up a first down, but they didn't do it. It looks like the receiver just lost track of where he was on the field. Carter awaits the snap. Scott fields it at the 24. He makes it out to maybe the 43 yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. From their own 44-yard line, second down. Quickly, and that was almost picked. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 49. They get a good seven yards on that one. And I thought this play was going to go for more yards, but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with because up to this point the defense is keeping them in the game but the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead quick throw to the tight 
Carolina. And he tackles him hard at the 23-yard line. That makes it second and six. From their own 23-yard line. Second down. Lack of offense or great defense. Call it what you will. We head to the fourth quarter. The Razorbacks lead is five. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. a huge, huge stop here in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. They're going to get the football back, but there's still a lot of ball left. That brings us fourth and seven. They've got ten guys up. They're coming after the kick. Scott fields it at the 42. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. So we're early in the fourth quarter. Still a lot of football left, but in a game this tight, every possession is going to make a difference. Give to the tailback. He's at the 40. Knocked out of bounds around the 35-yard line. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 35. down around the 39-yard line. And now he pitches it. He's taken down at the 40. They need to get it to the 25. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And down he goes around the 32-yard line. it all going long the defender had his hands on it but it's incomplete huge play for the defense things aren't tied but they might as well be it's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he's taken down the 47-yard line. Seven yard line. First down. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Needed that play and he dropped it. That makes it second and ten. Just under three to go in regulation. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. He's pushed out of bounds at the 44-yard line. 
It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Bring him down for a sack on the play. That'll bring up fourth and five. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike five, Mike five. Ready, left. Steps up and goes down. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Chucks it downfield. No, incomplete. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. He airs it out. He's tackled around the 11-yard line. South Carolina is going to take their first time out of the half. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And he's tackled after positive yardage. South Carolina's going to have to use their second time out of the half. They're at the seven. Second down. And they make the stop around the six-yard line. The Gamecocks using their third and final timeout. Touchdown, Arkansas!
The play clock's at double zero. They just took too long. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. Gets out to about the 21. The Razorbacks have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. We're about set to start things up again. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Going deep. Tackle at the 35. That's just a great call by the coordinator there, going to the air on first down. And a quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. The spike will stop the clock. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Slings it. That's a great tackle at the 14. From the 14 yard line, it's second down. And he throws it away. Middle got his back, and he's tackled at the 12-yard line. That brings us fourth and seven. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. We have less than a minute to go. Ready, black, easy, 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 Buffalo, Buffalo. He's going left. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. He gets out to about the 12-yard line. This one's in the books. The Razorbacks with the victory. 19-7. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.